Hi, this is Jonathan Mayberry, and this is another edition of Jonathan Mayberry Answer Stuff. Um, Jill Lane asks the question for this uh, go-round about my process. Uh, how do I get my ideas? Uh, let me read her thing. When you start writing, do, we, do I use outlines or go with the flow, and what's my process? Talked a little bit about writing before, but I'm going to go into that a little deeper. I'm definitely a structure guy. I was trained as a journalist, and um, not as a fiction writer, by the way. So journalists are all about structure. I do my research. I write myself an outline. It's usually a bullet-pointed outline. It's not really too dense with, with specific description. And then I start writing. I don't necessarily write in a linear fashion. Sometimes I'll jump around and write the scenes that are most appealing to me at that moment, or scenes that I'm um, that follow one another. So I may follow a subplot all the way through the book and make sure those have consistency of voice and style and so on. Uh, sometimes I'll go back and add new scenes to earlier chapters in order to build a new subplot. Uh, well, I do that especially with my Joe Ledger thrillers where there's a lot going on. And um, even though I use a, an outline, a plot outline, I am not married to it. Uh, I look at outlines kind of like a trellis. You know the basic shape. You know that eventually that shape is going to be covered with roses, but you can't force it to grow a certain way. Um, rose bushes are not bonsai plants, so there is a bit of organic growth, in some which is unexpected and can be quite beautiful. And also, you can't expect to have all your best ideas the day you write your outline. So you allow for growth, and you allow for characters to develop in interesting and spontaneous ways. You allow for new ideas. Then when I get to the end of the, uh, of the first draft, I usually work with my wife who will read the book to me aloud and I'll be able to hear it and we can discuss some elements of it and then we make changes and then it goes off to the editor. With short stories, I do it a slightly different way where I'll write usually the ending of the short story, then I'll back up and aim at that ending, which allows me to write a, a tighter, faster short story without having to worry about writing scenes that don't really belong to the ending that I have in mind. And... Uh, this, this is the, the pace that I got to that I really enjoyed. It helps me write the fastest and most enjoyable types of stories for me. But one thing to remember, just because this is my process doesn't mean it's the only process. Uh, there are a lot of writers out there. There are a lot of ways to do this right. Um, the main thing is to find the way that allows you to do it efficiently and to have fun while doing it. That's the key. Okay, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.